Well, hello everyone. Larry back with you again today. It's a beautiful day, but it's cool here in Northwest Alabama. What we're doing this morning is kind of doing a um, an initial review on the DR lawn and yard vacuum. Got it hooked up behind the uh, John Deere Zero Turn mower and going to do just a little bit here in the backyard kind of see how it works back here uh, try to show you how how it dumps out and some of the things about it as we go along the initial uh, work that we did with it on the previous video it seemed to be doing just fine just exactly what we were looking for but uh, let's uh, let's look at it today on this backyard and uh, we're on just a little bit of a slope here in the backyard. See how it picks up these leaves. They are also a little bit wet. So I found out the last time you can't go as long without dumping wet leaves because if you do, you won't be able to dump them. They're so heavy. So let's see how that goes. If you're new to the channel, as always, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video, share it with a friend, and then please be sure to subscribe to our channel. I really do appreciate that. So come on, let's get started. The DR lawn and leaf vac is designed in such a way that with wheels on the motor assembly you can disconnect the uh, motor off of the trailer part and use the trailer then as a utility trailer. I've decided though already that I will not be taking the unit apart and using the trailer for anything else. I'm just going to keep it together as a unit and that way one part won't break down while using the other or something and don't have a problem with putting pressure on the tires, hauling things around or anything. I've just decided that I'm going to keep it together, keep it stored through the um, through the times that I'm not using it and uh, that way when I get ready to use it whether it's for leaves or lawn clippings or whatever and everything will be ready to go just a matter of hooking it up and getting started. The process of putting the hose on is pretty simple, just a matter of tightening a couple of clamps and putting the, um, the hanging bungees and springs on. You'll notice uh, just above my back there's a green pin loop that I have installed on the roll bar of the mower. And the reason I did this was so that I could use it to support the bungee and the spring on the forward side of the hose going from the deck adapter. DR provides one that I'll be hooking up here in just a minute with a swing arm that fastens to the motor to a mount on the motor. 
and I installed this one to uh, support the hose just after it comes out of the deck adapter. I'm putting on now the one that is provided by DR and those two springs are something that I added that can hook to the bungees and I thought would provide a little more flexibility when turning. The biggest issue with the zero turn mower is turning to the left. Uh, it does well turning to the right, but when turning to the left, there is um, a lot of holes to be uh, kind of compacted up into one area, so that's, that's my biggest issue with the holes. What I'm doing here now is blowing the leaves away from the uh, edge of the house and around the gas tank. We've got a gas tank, uh, a LP gas tank that we use. Uh, let's see, I guess I guess you'd call it a propane gas tank, uh, 250 gallon tank, and uh, it's sitting just just outside the um, garage for silver, my pickup and so I blew the leaves out away from it, also out away from the uh, fence line there so that we'd be able to get the uh, leaf vacuum up closer to it and I also blew it out from around the post and some of those uh, Leland Cypress. Those are a few, those Leland Cypress are a few of the Christmas trees that we have left in this section. At one time, this entire uh, backyard was uh, covered in the Leland Cypress, and just as we cut them away, I decided not to replant back here and uh, to have the backyard. As I make this turn here, I'm thinking about the uh, bagger on the back and whether or not it would be able to uh, remain stable on that uh, slope. DR recommends that you do not get the bagger on more than a 15 degree slope and I don't think I am quite at that point on this backyard here, but making the turn and and uh, turning with a little bit of speed. I was a little bit concerned about it, but it seemed to perform very well under these circumstances. I'd picked up quite a few leaves so far and thought, well, it's probably time for me to go and dump. And sure enough, when I got out there, I realized that I had just about overdone it again. And you don't really think about how much uh, material is going into the bagger until you get ready to uh, dump. And one of the things that Gina and I talked about, the uh, DR leaf and lawn vacuum is, it does not have any type of a uh, window that you can see if it's full or not and that may be due to uh, dust and debris getting on it and it would stay uh, 
stay so clouded up that you couldn't tell anyway and it might have something to do with uh, cracking over time so I don't know but I wish there was a way that you could tell if it is uh, full or not. I had graded off this area out here with uh, Little John and my box blade for the purpose of dumping the leaves and since the time that I did that, uh, of course we've had rain and then we've also had the uh, cold weather that froze the ground and like today, like at this point right now, the uh, temperature has got up above freezing and the ground has thawed and um, it just made for a real slick area and I was really having a problem getting the um, the mower to pull out of this. Uh, zero turn mower's got good traction. This this particular mower's got wide tires on the back. Gets pretty good traction but out here it was just in a, a gooey uh, muddy little mess and so I had to kind of maneuver around and go around a little bit in circle take a path of least resistance and go back downhill and then come back up and come out and for the rest of the day then I actually uh, or for the next dump site I actually chose a different location and dumped the leaves over there where um, the ground wasn't uh, so muddy but for this point an area right here it was um, it was pretty pretty messy getting in and out you can see here where um, I came in and see the kind of the mud I apologize for the camera angle but I was trying to drive the zero turn mower with uh, with one hand and hold the camera with another so a little bit of an angle on the camera
Well, there you have it, folks. Going to wrap this video up. A little bit of a one week later review on the DR lawn and leaf vacuum system, and uh, I am very well pleased with it. Yesterday, we took Little John up for his annual checkup at Tri Green Equipment up in Leeton, Alabama. Little John will be up there for a little less than a week getting oil changed and serviced and everything and that's part of the uh, extended warranty that we got on Little John was uh, allowing Tri-Green to uh, continue to do the uh, service on uh, the tractor. I'll have to admit I already miss the tractor. I miss Little John being here on the farm and there was even some things today that I could have used it for uh, had he have been here. But anyway, we'll get him back pretty soon. He'll be back in operation. I want to thank you so much for joining us on the channel today. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Our subscriber list is growing, slowly but surely. And uh, it really means a lot as far as the uh, analytics is concerned. They call it the logarithms on YouTube, so it really means a lot if you'll subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below, and one of the most important things is to give us a thumbs up and like the video, share it with a friend. So until next time, folks, thank you for joining us again. This is Larry for Jenny up in the house. Uh, I hope staying warm on this cool Saturday. Have a great one. I look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. If you're new to the channel, as always, don't forget to give... Uh, <laughs> if you're new to the channel, as always, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video.